All right, getting about solar noon here. I thought I'd give you an update. Finally got spring coming around here. Give me a little, just a little bit past uh, noon local. Getting some good clear sky, sun's up. Tracker's doing well. It's about 30 degrees out. Those panels are doing good. Let's go look at the wall. All right, you can see the track is doing 104. It's pretty good. The rest of these, I've got them charging my batteries, and I have the last one here, 66. So we're doing about 165 currently into the grid. Now I have on my charge controller, I've got the uh, solar tracker uh, going to the grid, and then my 80 watt going to the grid, but the rest are charging my batteries reading here 25 amps voltage currently 30 volts it's going through my solar boost I have the cover off because I've been taking some uh, measurements from that charging the batteries because I've been using these batteries to run the furnace every night using my uh, sprint 12 volt pure sine wave inverter and it's been working out great it saves us about three kilowatt hours a day on power and the other advantage is, if I look on my uh, TED handheld meter here, we're getting, uh, actually let's compare it over here. See the grid, when the grid's at, when the grid uh, goes down, my usage of the house goes up. Because i got a cloud going through right now. Let's we'll see if the grid goes back up again. And you'll see this... Uh, TED meter will go down accordingly. Now we know that the house usage is about 170 watts normally. And so what I'm trying to do is to make it so I don't put any excess power into the grid that it uh, all stays within the house. All right, getting past the cloud here. You can see the grid power on the left going up and then the real house usage uh, going down. Alright, so I'm coming through here. We should see this get close to uh, zero on the right, which is what I'd like it to be uh, most of the day when the sun is shining. There it is. Ten, ten watts is good. One cent per hour. Can't complain about that. All right, up on up on the computer here. I've got my uh, TED 5000 brought up on the computer. You see, it's almost about 3 p.m. The house is using uh, 34. That's actually uh, after the grid tie inverter has uh, made its donation. Just trying to keep this a little bit above zero watts. You can see, from mid midnight, we've used 6.6 .6 kilowatt hours. If I look on the graph and bring up uh, a minute view over 24 hours, now I have this graph set up for a maximum of 2 kilowatts because we've been staying under that with our uh, peak usage. And you'll show that when it comes up here. It takes a, a few seconds for it to load in from the gateway server. So here we are, here's 24 hours ago, you can see our nominal running power is about 170 watts. Uh, come evening, television comes on, uh, these uh, squiggly marks is the uh, electric heater. Then in the morning, uh, space heater came on, that's about a 1 point or 1500 watt adder. And then just running, uh, once the office was warmed up with that heater, 
uh, going along here. This spike here is a mi the microwave oven. You can see that takes a lot, but just for a few seconds. But then this is where we're at right now, where the grid tie inverters kicked in. And uh, we're using the sun power to basically take down the normal 170 watts that the house is using, trying to keep us nailed as close to zero as possible. And these little spikes here are basically clouds that are uh, preventing the uh, solar from putting as much into the grid as, as it would on a totally clear day. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you. It's plan's working out pretty well. Trying to stay under 7 kilowatt hours a day. So far, so good. Talk to you later.